everyone, it's Erica with Craftinated, and today I just kind of want to show you what I've been doing with some dies I got from uh, Peachy Cheap. They're from Coco and Reno, so they came in this package, and this is what the dies look like. And this all came in one package, and it's for a, it says a gift card holder. So I'm just going to show you the dies here. So there's the, there's a bow. And then there is the gift card holder itself. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I posted this huge picture of all of this scrap that I have that I brought downstairs when I moved my craft rooms and I need to use it. So I went through and I found some really cute scrap from when I made a wedding mini album and I used it to make this cute little gift card holder and just opens up and you can put a gift card in there and then I used like this little pearl string and then stickers that were left over from the album I made so I have everything here to make another one I'm not sure do I want to do I might do it where I have the gold on the inside since I already have one with the gold on the outside so I like to use the double-sided paper because I think it looks really cute when you open it up and it's it's finished on the inside as well. So these this is super simple. So if you have this die or if you um, can still find this die, this is a really simple project. So when you cut it, cut it with the die, like with your, um, I have a cuddle bug, but if you use like a Gemini or whatever, you just it gives like these score lines and you just fold them on the score lines. And it gives you a spot for like ribbon. I use the string of pearls. This time I might put like something on it. I don't know if I wanted to have the string again, but it, it turned out, I thought, I thought it turned out really cute. So there's like these little like spots to fold it and then I'm going to have it so it goes oops I did that wrong I'm going to have it so it goes in like that I think I did it wrong again that's all right we'll get there so you just fold everything and get it ready to go so then I'm going to use the art glitter glue for the tabs. So I'm just doing a thin line of the art glitter glue down the tab and then you'll match it up with where your gift card um, holder is. And there it's half done. Isn't that amazing? I'm just really excited to have so some projects to, to do to try to use up um, my stash. I have so much uh, just like leftover scraps from projects. This one is from the wedding mini album. I'll post it below. It was one of my favorite mini albums I've made so far. And this is just where it gets a little tricky because you got to get it lined up. And then you'll just pop this in, pop each of these tabbies in, and then I'm just going to put a very thin line there, and then you pop that in, and then I'm going to turn it over and push it down. And then I'm just going to put a tiny dot of the glitter glue on each side of these tabs. so it stays closed maybe a little bit more so I'm gonna be going through my um, extra card stock and extra supplies from old projects and I'm gonna see if I can if I have enough to make these because I think they're super cute I think that they would actually um, 
even sell at a craft fair. And you can even make these pretty cheap. I mean, the ones that, the gift card holders that I have, I think I price those at $3. You could price these at 2 or $3. And I think that that would be acceptable um, for a craft fair item. As long as you jazz it up a little bit. All right, so that's that part of it. And, and look, it's basically done. Your base is done. And it's really, really cute. And then you just have your little bow to make. And I always, I use a dowel usually, but um, my dowels are behind me. So I'm just going to use my bone folder to kind of round the ribbon. And then I'm going to put a dot of the glue here. And just hold it for a minute. And then another dot. I don't know that like, like this was a peachy cheap deal. My mom actually got me this for Christmas. I haven't I hadn't used it yet. I don't know how Coco and Reno works because I've never purchased anything from them directly. Uh, but I don't think I think it's like a subscription service, but you might be able to get the dies anytime. I don't know how much this costs. I can look it up and see if I can link it below once I'm done with the video. But, I mean, it's it's really simple. The hardest part was putting it through the die machine, which, if you use dies, you know, is not difficult at all. This does not want to stick, though. Hmm. And then you'll use the um, little piece to kind of wrap it. I'm going to wrap it on this side since this doesn't want to stay down. I should get my tweezers, but, you know, this is just a quick project that I just tried for the first time and I wanted to share it with you guys. Because it's so simple and I'm I'm really hoping I can use a lot of my leftover stock to make these cute little, they're like little purse gift card holders. That's what I'm not going to put. I'm not going to put something on this though. I'm going to put um, probably some uh, pearls across the top. And this will go on the inside of the bow because it's like the messy side. So that'll go on the front. You know what? It kind of looks a little jacked up. So I might, since I'm going to put pearls on the front, I'll put one on the bow too. It'll be cute since it wants to be like that. And I always just put like a dab of glitter glue on adhesives like this that I want to make sure that they stay in place. There we are. Oops, right on my mat. There, we'll let that dry for a second. And while it's drying, I'm gonna put some pearls on the top of this. And these ones I won't put the glitter glue on because I think they'll be okay. 
I was going to cover up the holes with the pearls. Like I said, I should have gotten my tweezers, but here we are. I'm just going to put it in the middle so I can kind of eyeball where the best place would be to put the other two. And let's actually do this. I have found it great to be in the new craft room and having everything just kind of at my fingertips. It's great uh, just to be able, like yesterday I came home from work and I made, I don't even know, a bunch of Valentines. And it's just because I had the ability, see that looks really cute. I had the ability to just do whatever, you know, I can come home and I can just get to work. And it's really great um, to have that available for me. So if you haven't seen that, it's amazing. I'm so pumped. So I also have these stickers. And I think I'm going to use the one that says... Let's use the one that says Just Married. Yeah. And then we'll put that right there in front. They don't have to be for marriage. I just, since this was the, the paper that it, it's kind of like what it was about. I just figured I'd stick with the theme. Yeah, it looks cute. And then I'll put the, the little ribbon or the bow or whatever it is right on front. Oops, I guess I should take the cap off, huh? And there you have it, it is all done. So I think that's really cute. I just used my scraps and that die and I made this cute little gift card holder. So um, let me know what you guys think in the comments of these and um, I will look for that die and I will link it below. All right, thank you guys so much for watching, bye.